the Dwarf Grudge Thrower. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to another episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box. And today we've got a box with no artwork on it. However, it does say Dwarf Grudge Thrower right there. So without further ado, we are going to go down and open it. But before we do, I want to announce a special tournament that we're going to have coming up very soon now on August the 18th right here at the store at 10 o'clock a.m. It's going to be a nice one. There's going to be three battles going on. And uh, you can find out what we're doing if you go onto our Facebook page and check out the little program that I put together for everybody. So, uh, since the General's Handbook has come out, I've decided that I wanted to build my dwarfs again, field them in my Dwarden army. <laughs> And so, without further ado, uh, let's go down to the tabletop and open up this mysterious citadel box with just the castle on it and see what the dwarf grudge thrower looks like. And now, raining rocks down on your head since about 1996, or maybe even earlier, is the dwarf grudge thrower in this nice, nondescript, completely boring citadel white box. Now these were ones that the factory was sending out before they completely discontinued the dwarf grudge thrower. So now, without further ado, let's puncture the plastic on this thing and see what's in the box. The mystery is about to be revealed. No. Okay, come on up. Okay. Now, once again, we get this nice little plastic case that these guys came in. This doesn't have the multi-chambers in it. It's just one big one. And why are these always so hard to open? Open. There we go. Now, this is a nice model. I've built a few. Looks like a might have a broken off piece here. Okay, Citadel Fine Cast is resin plastic. These used to be all white metal. But of course, Games Workshop, you know, in the end times era, started bringing out Citadel Fine Cast, and the rest is history. So I happen to have one like this. And again, these are very simple instructions. It just basically shows you in one shot how it all goes together. Study that and tell it to your grandchildren. Now anyway, <laughs> okay, so let's see how this looks. So to start with, you get these amazing bases with the slots in them. You get four, which in Age of Sigma you don't really use anymore. Maybe if you're playing Ninth Age or Eighth Edition or Sixth Edition. Okay, now here's the crew. So you have a guy that's cranking down the rope that brings the hand down. And then you got the stone hewer guy that had to chisel out the dwarf stone and uh, load it onto the hand. And then you have the commander telling everybody, fire, pull the rope, you know, whatever he needs to do. So it's quite a good detail on the crew. I enjoy painting up all the little little tassels and bands and everything on their uniforms. Always fun. Always a good crew. So now we are looking at the cradle for the um, grudge thrower. Now sometimes these can be pinched in and whatever. Yeah this one's sloping down. You can see it right there. So in order to correct this put it in some really you can put it in almost boiling water, really hot, and then let it soften up and you'll be able to flex this into shape and then hold it there and let everything cool right down and it'll of course go back. Now this one would have to be bent up a little bit at that angle to get it level. So I mean, look at it from the back. But that's what the risk you take when you get the Citadel Fine Cast. 
Anyway, white metal is even worse when it gets bent. You gotta try to figure out how to make it all level again. There's the hand for throwing the stone. The stone is optional. It's got a nice glyph on it. That's the pulley. And there's the other end with the ropes. And then we have the stuff that goes on top. Which is the chain. And uh, the mechanism there. And a bunch of stuff. So yeah, if this is a bit out of shape, just warm it up and bend it back. And of course there's the actual arm mechanism and that hand would glue back up here like that. So there we go. And that will bring us to the conclusion of the Dwarf Grudge Thrower. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box, where we got to look at this cool dwarf grudge thrower, and hopefully, if I get to <laughs> play in the tournament... See, I don't play in my tournaments, but if we get seven people, then I go in there as just like a blank, so that I don't have to give people buys and all this stuff, but so that they can progress in the game. It doesn't give me any points, and I don't get the trophy or anything, but at least I get a experience to help somebody get one but hopefully if we battle i can lob some rocks on my opponent and if not in the tournament then on a regular gaming night because these these guys they're nasty so anyway if you enjoy our videos and would like to contribute to our youtube channel please go and look in the banner on my YouTube homepage and look for the PayPal button, click on there and you can make a contribution to our channel. And if you like to see some other unboxings, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right over here, where if you click the notification bell, you will always get an update for the next What's in the Box.